The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewer, welcome to GBS TV. This is on Chungu Chajami. My name is Betty. I am your host and we are going to be taking forward this discussion of the ideal man part two. I hope that you watched the first uh, episode of this and you are continuing together with us. So I have guests. I would like them to introduce themselves before we take it up again. My name is Faith Nashipai. I am the executive director of Thriving Families Kenya and I'm excited to be here again. Of course. Well, I'm Kenori Chris. Programs Coordinator Kenya YMCA. I'm already excited. I'm happy. I think just stick there. Just watch. More to come. Yeah, I'm Pastor Luke Fiori. I'm a pastor here in GBS, and I'm happy and proud to be in this program. Wow. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Lady. So, the ideal man. Mm -hmm. I would start by finding out, you know, we had a discussion last time, and mm -hmm. so I'm wondering, where do we find this ideal man mm -hmm. after introducing that the ideal man is actually available? Mm -hmm. Where do we find him? Mm -hmm. Luca? Yeah, well, I would not say I'm favoring myself, <laughs> but I would say that the only <laughs> place you can get an ideal man is in the church. <laughs> this is because it is a place in which he can be given people are given the idea of whom they really are. Mm -hmm. Because from the time we came in this world, mm -hmm. we came with a seed which was already defiled. Mm -hmm. Because from the day Adam sinned, we all became people with ambitions, people who are always feeling guilty, we want to commit sin. Just like Apostle Paul say in Romans chapter 7, verse 15, mm -hmm. he says that, mm -hmm. The things that I desire to do, I do not do. <laughs> I always find doing the opposite. Yes. Therefore, everyone <laughs> would wish to be an mm -hmm. ideal man. Yes. And there are people who are putting effort to become the an ideal, ideal man. man. Mm -hmm. Even myself, for a long time, I decided <laughs> to be one. <laughs> but it was not until uh -huh. that time when uh -huh. I came to my senses mm -hmm. that uh, I am not an ideal man. First, I accepted that reality. That you are not. I am not. Uh -huh. and, and then the you kind, became. And the kind of life I'm living mm -hmm. is not worthy. Yes. From that time, that's mm -hmm. the time now I started seeing, my God, mm -hmm. what kind of life am I living? Mm -hmm. And then when I was taken through mm -hmm. to the word of God, mm -hmm. I could go through the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 4, mm -hmm. which says that mm -hmm. we are seed of sin. Mm -hmm. And because we are seed of sin, the only fruit we can bear is fruit of evil, fruit of being biased, especially hating, mm -hmm. especially not reasoning, mm -hmm. being a complicated man. So from that time when I became to understand, oh my God, this kind of a life, and even I could be challenged by other people. Then I could also get an example of my mentors. Mm -hmm. I could see the kind of life they're living. Then I could see, my God, what life am I living? Mm -hmm. From that time, from getting this challenge, I could now open the eyes, say, my God, this life I'm living is not what they're living. So the ideal man begin, the journey begin in realizing you are not an ideal man. Wow. That's where you begin. Wow. <laughs> So that's where the that's journey it. begins. Yes. Mm. Chris, did the journey begin for you in that way? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> we all have different encounters when you are growing and when you are born, especially the environment where we were raised. And I, I agree, uh, the best way to solve a problem is first accepting there is a challenge or accepting there is a problem. True. But if we don't accept there is a problem, mm -hmm. then we will never solve. So I believe if you're out there, there is always a, a way out by first accepting who you are. Mm -hmm. If you feel yes, you're not ideal because the values that you attach to yourself, surely they can co they contribute to you being on the other side of mm -hmm. not being ideal. Mm -hmm. First accept that. Then after acceptance, you look out and see now what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Then go on and do that what needs to be done. Is it attaching yourself to a mentor mm -hmm. or attaching yourself now to somebody who ca you are accountable for? Mm -hmm. The only issue that we have, uh, and I would say this, is uh, men re refuse the issue of accountability uh -huh. because they don't want to. Who will we be accountable to? Mm -hmm. But if we attach ourselves to an accountable person that if I do things, there's somebody who questions my action, who questions my moves, then you begin your journey to be an ideal. 
wow. such that when I'm not honest, there's somebody will come and say, why did you do what you did? Mm -hmm. Then I'll bring back my senses. And could be these are the people we call mentors or role models, mm -hmm. or even your mm -hmm. spouses, mm -hmm. your children, mm -hmm. your creator, your pastor, name them. Mm -hmm. But there's no specific place where you'll go and find the men light up and say, you're welcome for ideal men. <laughs> So men <laughs> don't like to be accountable. Yes, accountability. They want it's people to give accountability to them, yes. but they do they not want, want mm -hmm. yes, yeah. they do not want to account yeah, because they, they are the heads, mm -hmm. the leaders. So everyone reports to them mm -hmm. and they report to no one. Mm -hmm. Faith, uh, last week we were doing, are you man enough mm -hmm. uh, to say I do? And one of the things that came up is in the society, do they have a scale? where a man stands up to measure up, to be man enough, and now they say, yes, now you are man enough to say I do. Society has, like, for me, the wrong judgment. They look at the size of your wallet to qualify you to say I do. They look at where you went to school and the machine that you push on the road mm -hmm. to judge and qualify you to now say you're man enough, you can cross over. Before then, you know, even your parents, when you're the girl, they say, uh, let him grow up a little. And growing up, no one is looking at the EQ. They are concentrating on the IQ and what he has achieved. For me as a mother, I would like my daughter to get to a man who is able to reason. You know, when there's conflict, are they able to resolve this amicably? Are they able to sit and talk and square out issues? Because you don't bring your IQ in resolving conflicts. Mm. You will just stand with, you know, what you know and what you have learned and your degrees, yeah. which people cannot <laughs> also not eat, yeah. you know. So for you, the ideal man, you know, where would you find him? I would find uh, an ideal man is found everywhere in our society. Okay. Um, you go to an office and you find this CEO mm -hmm. who's very responsible and he looks at a woman with the value that she has to bring in that office mm -hmm. and not in the face of this is a woman. Mm -hmm. And therefore, there is no business between him and asking for any sexual favors mm -hmm. or any extra favors yes. besides what she's coming to do. Mm -hmm. That's already an ideal man. Good. You look at an ideal man in a classroom who is willing to support and train children because he's there to give his value system and he's also there to train these children according to the books. Mm -hmm. So he trains these children in a responsible manner. Mm -hmm. That's an ideal man. Mm -hmm. You find an ideal man kule kwa mijengo okay. or even kwa welding. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, yes. and you tell him, he tells you these are the measurements, mm -hmm. and he's very honest, mm -hmm. and he's genuine, mm -hmm. and he does a superb job. Mm -hmm. That's an ideal man, mm -hmm. right? Yes. An ideal man is the husband who is faithful and responsible in his family, who knows very well that my wife and my children need shelter. So he'll wake up in the morning, go look for, 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 for rent, and come pay the rent. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to subject his family to cold nights or the shame of landlords, two padlocks in, in, on the door. Mm -hmm. An ideal man. Faith, before you get too far, mm -hmm. this man who is able to honor his responsibilities, yes. is that what makes him ideal? Because mm -hmm. the reason our families are dysfunctional today it's not because there's no food in the house. It's not because school fees is not paid for. Actually, even after separating, some of them are following up to pay school fees. They are still taking up responsibilities. They are paying rent and providing for whatever things they need. But they are not staying together. Are these ones still ideal? The ones who cannot just see a woman let pass them by, you know? The one who cannot keep to one wife, the one who forgot about the values that are entailed in saying I do. Yes. Is um, this still an ideal man just by virtue that they can provide? Um, an ideal man is the man with value system, mm -hmm. a strong value system that he upholds and he, they, 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 he agrees, he doesn't feel like his conscience does not judge him when he leaves his life. He's comfortable in his own skin. He's confident mm -hmm. about the values that he holds. Mm -hmm. And he would be comfortable passing them down to his generations. He does not have to feel that the way he's living his life is uh, need to be modified by his children. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know whether you're understanding me. He's comfortable being the person that he is because he will be happy if the children take up that. Mm -hmm. And he will not feel ashamed at any one time. Mm -hmm. Now, that means that this man who's cheating on his wife is not really ideal because he's not that ideal model that his sons will rely on today, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That man who is not, who's negating his duties at family level and allowing the woman to do everything in the house, yet the two have to become one and work together, then that is still not an ideal man because his children are learning from the wrong person and probably that is what they are going to do in future. So this ideal man is everywhere to answer you. And this not ideal man is also everywhere. <laughs> Look at is, yes. Can we have an ideal man who is consistent in every field at all time in all situation? No, no man is <laughs> So he is only an ideal in one specific area. At but there is time. a place that we may take him that we are fighting lucky. No, no, no. That is why I talked about values. Because, yes. Because when I have my values... Therefore, he is not when an ideal man in yeah. the context of being, saying that... Uh, Wholesome. I would say that mm -hmm. uh, an ideal man... Mm -hmm. Like now, when we discuss somebody like, say, like uh, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. as a man, mm -hmm. we may talk of him being ideal because of the effect of the work. Look at his ideal, uh, 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 his integrity. Mm -hmm. How much has it brought to the society? Mm -hmm. How have you improved your neighbor, mm -hmm. your children, and the society mm -hmm. at large for you to qualify mm -hmm. to be given that tag that this is an ideal man? Notice, notice that I am talking about family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because the number one place of influence in a society is the okay, family. Is the the family. family. Yes. So if the man is doing it right in the family, and notice that family is very private. Okay. Right? Yes, yes, so yes. his values, when his values are... In the are family out, capacity, in the level of being of a family. The, the minute the man learns to do things the right way at the family level, okay. he will, do he the will same be able to do the same wherever he goes. I don't know where that Because he'll carry happens. that value system mm. wherever he goes. That is what should happen. Yeah. That yes. is what yes. should happen. That is what we expect. Yes. 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 But that mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. what the man does mm -hmm. all the time. All the time. And this is why mm -hmm. we are into presenting this ideal man, which we must do today. Mm -hmm. I would ask you, Luca, mm -hmm. is the man, the ideal man, always right? Are there times he could be wrong? Are there times he loses? That is, some, that is a question that I already answered. Mm -hmm. I say, mm -hmm. for an ideal man to become an ideal man, he must, must realize he is not. Mm -hmm. He must realize he's not. Mm -hmm. So that means, once, sometimes he can lose, yes. right? Yes. And he can also be wrong. Mm. He can also be wrong. Yes. Are you in agreement that he can be wrong and he can lose? And when he loses, who does he lose to? The, the, I agree. So long as you are living and you are alive, if you don't want to be wrong, you don't, and you want to start on the nature of being right, mm -hmm. then it shows you have no, you know, you have no conscience that you are not living. You are dead. Mm -hmm. But so long as you are breathing air, you must agree to the fact that sometimes you will be wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll not find what you want, so mm -hmm. you have to lose. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people will come with different ideas which you either buy into them or you, you either lose your own ideas to buy into them or mm -hmm. you change the way you are doing things. Mm -hmm. So I think to be an ideal is just to have an open mind. You know, like you're this man who has an open mind. And uh, if you face the world like that, that's where you will uh, uh, you, you'll not hide your character. I, I like the, the, value, the, you know, the value system that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. If Somebody said, if the Chris of the night can meet Chris of the day, can we both hug or we'll be two different people? <laughs> like we can, Pitana, he be cross street and he'll be like, okay, you did you find Chris? Did you know? <laughs> and you're the same, same person, meaning you're <laughs> trying to hide our value system or characters, as mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear this from people out there. Yes, yes. He is the best in the family. I know. But go at the workplace. Yes. Guys, mm. yes. that who was you? my point. Yes. So, and I think that we is an expectation <laughs> mm -hmm. that is hardly met. Very true. You know, look at when you admit, yes. and that is what I, I was bringing you to. Yes. When you have admitted that yes. you can lose and you can be wrong, mm -hmm. you know, what are you supposed to do? Who are you supposed to go to to mm -hmm. fix it? Because it is okay to have a problem, mm -hmm. 
But a problem is not a problem once it has a solution. Yes. So do we have a solution? Is there a place men go to be made ideal once they have realized, you know what, I need panel beating here, I need to stop eating this wheat, mm -hmm. I need to stop sugar, mm -hmm. or my stomach is going to continue bulging. Is there that place? and not the gym. Is there that place where men go to be made ideal? Of course, yes. Uh -huh. I would say, like, in my case, I never lived knowing that my true image, mm -hmm. I used to judge myself in the standard of how I, know my, I knew myself. Mm -hmm. But one time, I was given my true image by the word of God. Mm -hmm. When I stood before my mentor, let's say uh, I used to be a uh, a pastor, mm -hmm. even before I met my, my mentor. Mm -hmm. and then he started now asking me questions. Look so you were a pastor before? Yes. Yes, I was but still a pastor. Were... Yes, I was still a pastor before I met the, my mentor. What changed? You were, yes. I don't want to say fake pastor. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I'm looking for yeah. the word. Yes. <laughs> Could be, could be. Uh, don't don't, don't worry yourself himself. to talking about <laughs> fake pasta. Because when I met him, because of time now he started the questioning, giving me some questions. Mm -hmm. And he could ask me mm -hmm. one question. Mm -hmm. Luca, mm -hmm. do you keep the commandments of God? Mm -hmm. And I say, yeah. All of them? Mm -hmm. That's where now I could say, no. Okay, sometimes I do some errors here and there. And then, okay, so you keep them perfectly? No. So you break. I keep some and I break some. Yes. That's where I was led, James chapter 2, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Whosoever keep all the laws of God, but breaks one, he has broken all of them. Mm -hmm. That is where my idealism died. So if you are ideal in the family and mm -hmm. not at the workplace, mm -hmm. not ideal. A kabisa, you are not. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. When you fail one, uh -huh. you have failed all of them. And that's where now I was able to admit. Let's not be so harsh on this man. Let's not be so harsh on this man. Because um, only Jesus is perfect. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus is perfect. And we are human beings. Mm -hmm. And we are forward moving. The mm -hmm. nature of a human being is that they, we, we grow, we develop, we are dynamic. Mm -hmm. Today we are in this culture. Tomorrow we are acclimatizing ourselves with a new culture. Mm -hmm. So the reality of me not being consistent is there that is one let us agree on that first but also agree on this one that as long as my values are the same when your values are the same if, if i am if i am practicing if i am practicing my values here uh -huh. and still practicing my values if i'm practicing my value at midnight uh -huh. and practicing my values at midday mm -hmm. then i have a constant Mm -hmm. That is what people should. That is what we should be telling people, and that is what we should be telling men. That the value system that you have mm -hmm. should be up and running twenty four hours in a day without consistency. No, when I say twenty four hours, that means consistency. Mm -hmm. yes. My my value system should yes. be the same mm -hmm. round the clock. Mm -hmm. It should not be that there is a place where my values are different. And it comes to values. And that means that even with dynamism, mm -hmm. even when things change, yes. there are principles in our families that do not change. There are principles that I still train my children and I learned them from my parents. And my parents learned them from their parents. But these are values and principles that will sustain our society and will keep our society sane. That is where we are supposed to be. Not telling people that when you go to work, this is how you're supposed to act. And when you go here, this is how you're supposed to act. The Bible and the social systems that we look at and the value system that we look at, in, uh, we, we look for, they are, they are there. You know, I'm thinking of the man who the is emerging. faithful mm -hmm. in his family mm -hmm. and corrupt mm -hmm. at his place of work. Mm -hmm. And I want to qualify him no. as an ideal man. No. So I, I think no. Betty. And, and you know, by that Betty. now I want no. now to give up that I'm not an ideal man. By the way, you are now <laughs> defining it. If it is a matter of consistency here and there, persistency, uh -huh. then I cannot qualify to be exactly. an ideal man. Betty, uh, and I have to surrender. There's no one who is going to be like I, that. I should be that one faith, level. Level. I should be one faith mm -hmm. when I leave my house yes. and the same faith who works and operates in the community mm -hmm. and the same faith who comes back home. Mm -hmm. That no. is being consistent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it attainable? 
<laughs> that is being consistent. Consistent uh, is it all the time, at all time, in all situation, <laughs> and circumstances. I want. I, I just that want to ask. That, that is where some let, 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 let me ask. Let me ask. Do I mean that when I'm in my house, I am a very truthful manner, mother? When I go out there, I start cheating. It is it sustainable? Happen. It happens. It happen. But is it sustainable? It happens. Will that lie catch up with me? You see now, that is living according to the circumstances. Mm. So when you're here and things are favorable, then you are afraid at home. Mm -hmm. yes. But when you step out mm -hmm. and there's an opportunity, there's a window to just steal some money from the office, mm -hmm. then you steal. <laughs> you steal. And you see, that, that shows that you don't that. have a value system. Or your body system is not right. Yes, it's not so, strong. Yeah. So now, what you do you know, Anela, there is, the, when, the, when, when the there idea. is Anela, <laughs> Anela means there is something behind it that cost that you, you don't want to tell me mm -hmm. that when I'm creating, when I'm, I'm manufacturing a product, mm -hmm. step one is very okay. Mm -hmm. Step two is very okay. And I have seven steps. Step three, mm -hmm. I reduce the quality or quantities. And I still expect the same quality and value of product. Frank, I will seven. tell you that happens all the time. They do not expect the same quality at the seventh or last stage, you know, but they are doing that deliberately because they want to sell. Because they want to sell. People want to present something that is not. They know for sure. It's not that they don't know. And there are step one, two, three, they have put the original thing. And step four, they are now, bring, they are now corrupting it. And they still want the same product. So we, we ask a hard question. Let we ask, ask a hard it question. It doesn't happen. We ask yes. a hard question. Uh -huh. What would happen if we were all genuine and honest? Let me respond to that. that let me respond to that because I believe you are all Christians in this panel. And yes. I just want to uh, take uh, ourselves back to the Bible. As you're yes. looking for this ideal man, as you're saying. Mm -hmm. And we have to agree on this. And uh, I want to bring all the points together and say, you know, being ideal holy, that is everywhere in all circumstances, mm -hmm. unless we are living in heaven and I'm not here you, on earth. That's the point. And this is it. I take us <laughs> ourselves back to the Bible. And this is why even Jesus himself <laughs> said, you should always ask for forgiveness. I like yes. the way because the man <laughs> surrendered. He has surrendered. Like the way the man has surrendered. <laughs> have also surrendered. It is not know? surrendering. Oh, okay. It is just <laughs> agreeing to the reality. It's agreeing to the reality. And you say, I thought the men have said there are opportunities. Say, yes, we, are not, we are not ideal. I don't know, Betty, look, it is not like we are not ideal. Uh -huh. Because let me we tell you, ideal, we are still ideal. And what makes me ideal is this. Uh -huh. I am willing as a man uh -huh. to say, oh, sorry, I wronged you. Please forgive me. Yes. One. Mm -hmm. I am an ideal man because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will stand there and fight. This is there's an opportunity that has presented mm -hmm. which will reduce my value systems, mm -hmm. but I will stand and say, no, I'm not buying into it. I'm still ideal because I will have a quarrel with my woman back in the house, mm -hmm. but I'll still be willing to come back and reconcile with her. Mm -hmm. It does not mean that when you're an ideal man and you're this man who says, I stand time. in my values, it, that that's what I mean at me. You know, like I'm living in heaven, you're on earth. And let me tell you, it, <laughs> Yes, you're an ideal man. You'll go to the bar and find, yes, you're drinking and, well, Utajipata, you, you took one for the road. Mm -hmm. But that does not reduce you. You know, you'll just go back to your senses and say, oh, God, I ask for forgiveness. <laughs> I, you know, I went through this and that. And that's why even God says, you know, you're willing to forgive. And he gave a number that is infinite, 70 times 70, those numbers. Mm. So an ideal man, we should not define an ideal man by shortlisting the qualities. Mm -hmm. That you are not coming up with a list. Mm -hmm. If you are not humble, you are not. If you are mm -hmm. arrogant, you are not. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I will go to the, to the office. Mm -hmm. And I'm an ideal man from my house. Very mm -hmm. friendly, very loving. Mm -hmm. But on that time, there's something in my mind, you know, could mentally. I have, you know, I have these pressures. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a staff just presents him or herself. And I'll be like, go away, I don't want to see you here. He or she will go out there and start thinking, wow, well, my boss, you, 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 you know, he's a dictator. But... It is I to come back to my senses and feel like, am I reconciling with myself at all times? Do I sit back and look at my emotions, my issues, my interactions with people, and I'm able to make peace with the, those around me and with myself? But I agree if we were to short, if we were to short list the qualities of an ideal man, we will never find one. I tell you. Because we are living and, and here and on earth. I, like, I, like, I, like mm -hmm. I like what Chris is saying, that um, we do not have a straight line, mm -hmm. but yes, we have something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this thing is informed by one thing called value system. Mm -hmm. Let's not lose it. Mm -hmm. That we have to get our value system right that work very well for us 
and work very well for our within our environment. It's not just for me, it's also for my environment and how I interact with people and be at peace with that. Mm -hmm. So that if I fall short, I will be able to identify that yes, I have fallen yes. short and I am getting back on track. Mm -hmm. Because I said that human beings, we are dynamic. Today we are here, tomorrow we are moving to this level. So because we are that dynamic, and again, um, Pastor here has told us that you start with realizing. And I remember I had mentioned at some point that the problem with men is that they do not know, that they do not know, that they do not understand. <laughs> <laughs> the minute we start from we do not know, that we do not know, that we do not know, then that is the unlocking of under self-understanding. That yes, I am a man. Yes, this is what the society expects me. But this is how I feel about the society. These, these are the values that I'm supposed to take. Are they working for me? Will they work for my children? Will they work for my environment? The minute we start that discussion there, we start nurturing. Notice I'm using nurturing. We start building up and nurturing the ideal man whether he's in the family environment or wherever he is. Why am I saying this? We have so many men who are broken out there mm -hmm. and so many men who have been qualified as not ideal. Mm -hmm. And the more we qualify them and we call them out as not ideal, we are breaking them even further. Mm -hmm. Who should? Who should call and qualify society, them ideal? Society. Society. Society you know, always our, has their our own meter, judgment. No, 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 our that. meter. <laughs> the, the kind of... The kind of uh, what do you call it? Measurement. Measurement that we give mm -hmm. for this man mm -hmm. is set not by him, but by society. And society is me and my husband raising my sons, and there is an expectation that I have over my sons. Mm -hmm. The society is the school environment. Society is the youth environment. Society is the church environment. Mm -hmm. Society is the work environment. Society is we. We are the society. I, so I, I, there's I, I, one thing. That I, that I really okay. like, mm -hmm. yes, uh, I'll give you a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. I really like that the men have surrendered. They yeah. have given up and <laughs> said, <laughs> that ideal man is yeah. not here. There. He's not yeah. here. I accept. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, I, accept. I, I, I also <laughs> have to get back mm -hmm. to my viewers mm -hmm. and just tell them, by the way, guys, I <laughs> promise <laughs> we will deliver today the ideal <laughs> man. The ideal <laughs> man. <laughs> but now, <laughs> the the that ideal man is, is not, there. Yes. He's not there. So even me have to admit failure, mm -hmm. like that ideal man, I promised you guys, mm -hmm. is not there. there. Mm -hmm. Hayuko, mm -hmm. yes. you know? But there's something that Luca mentioned, mm -hmm. and then he said that this ideal man, it, because everybody has been looking for and waiting for the mm -hmm. ideal man, even the viewer today was like, I want to get that man, mm -hmm. because this one I am living with mm -hmm. is not. Mm -hmm. This one I have born and brought forth mm -hmm. are not. Mm -hmm. These neighbors mm -hmm. and these bosses that I have in the name of men mm -hmm. are not ideal. Mm -hmm. Today, let me just listen out to who this ideal man is. I am really sorry to disappoint them that you do not <laughs> have that man. But look at said like this. The things this ideal man wants to do mm -hmm. are not the ones that he does. Yeah. I wish, why isn't there a school mm. that teaches people to do the things that they should do? Mm. Oh my God. At the when time fly, we want to do them. Yes. Mm. When you fly a plane, mm. you know it is landing. So you know what to press and what to do. Mm. You don't, mm. you know, Betty, you don't fly back to you. You don't yeah. take home. We have ideal women. That's a topic for another. <laughs> I'm asking that because if maybe, if, if we're having <laughs> ideal women, mm -hmm. then maybe their, 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 their script would, would work on the other side. You know, it is the women who have it's said they're not ideal men. If you look at those who are watching today, <laughs> you'll find majority <laughs> are women <laughs> because <laughs> all the men around they're them let, let me, let, let, are not let, ideal. Let, let so me, they are let, let really searching. <laughs> <laughs> they are so disappointed let with the men in their surroundings. Betty, Betty, let me disappoint them further and say, mm -hmm. and as you said, uh, and I know most of them mm -hmm. during those ages when they want to, to get married, mm -hmm. they'll come up with a short list of the man that they want yes. to meet. And checklist. Uh, and and checklist. Yes. So okay. today you find Chris, mm -hmm. humble, good looking, uh -huh, well up, kifika kwa honesty, X. <laughs> you go to the next person, mm -hmm. Lucas, 
honest, good looking, well up, ukifika kwa meekness, X. Mm -hmm. And this is what we are saying. You, that person that you are looking for, there is no ideal meter. And I know they are getting disappointed <laughs> because they thought perhaps you'd come here with a short list of qualities. There's and, no and, if you, and if you go to, the, to Google, as those who visit the uh, Professor Google, mm -hmm. Google will try and bring you a lot of qualities of what they, they term as an ideal man. Mm -hmm. But on the ground, we are saying, mm -hmm. so long as we are living here on earth, and uh, he said, by quoting Apostle Paul, we are faced with different circumstances that they also try and change us. Again, when we are growing up in the, you know, those days in biology, qualities of uh, living things, and the man is a living thing, irritability, meaning that you are able to adapt to different environment. That is, and this also goes uh, to what uh, say they say about value system. So the issue of nurturing up your boy or nurturing up those young men to become husbands in the future is just by instilling values that will be dictating their behavior. And that is a, that's why we need values. Such that when I'm going to do something, I refer to my values. Is it right? Is it wrong? You know, the right and wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But if you are to tell, if you, you, you must be, you know, like uh, you, you talk about humbleness, but there's a time in yourself, in the environment where you are, you mm -hmm. become harsh. I, mean, I don't need to be humble. I need to be an, ag an yeah, aggressive no. person when here. You, there are some times in life, if, especially when you go to an office and things are not working, mm -hmm. you, you just have to let out Very for true. things to move. Yes, and right. Letting that's out it. doesn't yeah. make you not ideal. Doesn't, that's what yeah. we are there, saying. There is a Does time it? in the family yeah. that you'll find that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. I mean, you, you, you don't expect me to come and say, and oh, say, oh <laughs> you, you beat some people black and blue until they do things the right way. <laughs> so does it oh, reduce you like being it, it doesn't ideal? reduce you. You're just actually, you're, imp you're, 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 you're trying to impact. <laughs> no, you're not imposing. You're impacting some cleanliness, some value system of remaining in a clean environment. And there's a way you say it even as a man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's take a break and come back and finish <laughs> up this discussion. Uh, we are talking about the ideal man, and I am sorry to disappoint that today we, uh, we may not be able to present this ideal man. <laughs> These gentlemen have actually agreed and admitted that man is not there. We are still on with the search. Coming back shortly, stay here. This is Chungu Chajami. It's our world our country, our society, and community. We talk about marriage, we talk about finances, we talk about parenting, we talk about the boy child, the girl child, we talk about mothers-in-law, we talk about the prisons, we talk about schools, everything that concerns you in the society. We're going to be discussing about resisting peer pressure. We want to talk about why do young people go against authority. I am going to be discussing with you COVID-19 lessons. Today we are talking about molding character in children. We offer solutions, we bring in experts, we bring in psychologists to tell us more on how to handle our problems. When COVID happened in March, there was a lot of information on what to do. Come to this place at Chungu Chajami, on the round pot, have some soup, and talk about the issues in our community. The parent, the child, and the teacher must work together in order to reform that child. It doesn't matter how far you've gone, even if you feel like it's too late. Check the child's behavior. Mm -hmm. If just something slight changes, don't ignore it. We are meant to live in peace. Get to understand yourself. Get to understand your thoughts. Thank you, viewer. I am glad that many of you have been watching and sending in your comments. Welcome back, viewer. We are still trying to find out whether we can actually get the ideal man, just in case these guys lied earlier. Uh, <laughs> join us in that conversation. So we are like closure. We are closing this topic and saying, who am to Hayuko, the ideal man. So we just stop the search. Those who are disappointed, where, what should they do? What should they do? They have looked for the ideal man, with all the hopes, when you said you're going to do this, they were very optimistic mm -hmm. that at least today, somebody, Luca will tell us, Chris will tell us, the ideal man 
looks like this. Mm -hmm. But they have said Hayuko. Mm -hmm. What do you want these people who are looking for the ideal man to do? Lest they live here and go commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you don't have to get there. Mm -hmm. I think we said uh, when it comes to if I want something to, to be better, mm -hmm. I have to go with it in the process. So if you're there and you're looking for these, uh, what you're calling ideal man, mm -hmm. and you've uh, somehow mentioned about being ideal in different situations, as the circumstances present, you need to look somebody with the values and attaching all his actions to the value system that he is. Uh, right now, the society shapes our values because the society will tell us, do not do this, do not do this, and that's okay. But again, the ideal man that uh, Betty is saying have admitted there is, we say he is not there because we don't have an ideal meter that we can say, we cannot track you all the way to say, oh, you are ideal. But the moment you are able to admit about your own nature and what you've done wrong or what you have done uh, contrary to your values, but you are able, you are looking for ways to reconcile with your value system, then to me that's an ideal person. And this is a person who is missing in the society. Mm -hmm. And this person is a... Uh, uh, you know, the, the society has brought it up in such a way that if you're not able to reconcile, men who are reconciling back to, to, to the value systems are known to be weak. That's why our politicians will lie today and tomorrow, talk different about what they say today. That's why we have pastors who will lie today and tomorrow, talk different of what they say today. But if you're able to stand the ground and say, yes, I said it, it was wrong, but I'm asking for forgiveness. Yes, I was able to talk to you calmly, but I was harsh yesterday. Please forgive me. I'm able to lower my gears to make peace with myself. Then I will look at my ideal meter and say, yes, I'm at 99.9%, .9%, especially a man who is able to admit failure. Mm -hmm. That's a man who I, I think if I was a lady, I would really be willing to look for. But you will not get a 100% man that has all the characters and all the qualities that you want. Again, be instrumental in making this man who you want him to be. Okay. So Luca. I think that's what I say. Okay, although we tried to look for an ideal man and we failed, mm -hmm. but uh, we have an ideal man in the Bible called Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, if our hearts could be connected with him, mm -hmm. and then we begin to flow with his words, especially when we come to Genesis 1 verse 2, it says the world was without form, the world was full of darkness and empty. But on verse 3, when the word of God came, let there be right. When the word of God struck in the earth, the earth, now the darkness disappeared, the emptiness was filled, and then everything about this world changed. So if we could receive the ones of the ideal man who is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then we can find ourselves there because when our souls will be filled with this word, with these values, with this focus, with this mind, then we will begin to flow just like we find somebody like Peter telling the cripple, can you raise in the name of Jesus Christ, raise up and go. You can see now those defects and blemishes which are there because of our human nature will be corrected by that ideal man. Mm -hmm. And then I would also talk about 1 John chapter 3 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. Whoever is born of God does not commit sin. For the seed of God dwells in him. For he cannot even commit sin, for he is born of God. So if we could receive this seed of God in us, which has now the, the values, and then it begin to grow, then we shall begin to have the fruits of those values, mm -hmm. of those ideal man. Mm -hmm. You begin to grow out of the seed which was planted. Therefore, I would say, even before, I would say, okay, I am an ideal man. But when I look at myself through the mirror of the standard of the word of God, I find I am not. So it's a question of me receiving the seed which grows fruits, which brings these ideals, this, this ideals that you give us the same focus that now I can be man of integrity. Mm -hmm. So it's a question of receiving this word that you change me and make me at least acceptable, if not 100%. <laughs> so that is how I would define, mm -hmm. uh, direct our viewers. Mm -hmm. That is only the way we can get the ideal man. Okay, Faith. Look at the people who we have disappointed today. What should they do? Because now you told us where to look, and when they look at those places, where do we come to Hayuko? Mm -hmm. Yes, what do we tell them? Um, indeed, we do not have like that ideal man mm -hmm. living on earth. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the reality. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we can be able to define is when you go to this place, the, the, the man exists but in different pockets mm -hmm. and at different levels. True. Defined, of course, by the environment and how he interacts with his environment. Mm -hmm. uh, but even as we look at that, besides the value system, I want to encourage women I, I talk a lot with men, and when you talk to men, they tell you our challenges and our t our challenges and our problems start with women. When you talk to women, they say that the the, the opposite. Our problem starts with men. So now today, let me help and equalize this mm -hmm. and say, uh, women, yes, we do not have the ideal men in our lives, mm -hmm. um, but uh, we can encourage them to become ideal. Mm -hmm. We can encourage them to become ideal by the way we actually bring out issues to them. Mm -hmm. There is a way that a woman can bring out an issue, and it even, of, even a man, there is a way that my husband will tell me something, and outrightly I just get offended. So how are we bringing these issues? How are we bringing the, the challenges or the, um, the, the um, not being perfect of this person? How are we bringing their shortcomings out? Are we bringing them in a very harsh way and trying to show them that they are nothing? Or are we telling them um, in a right way that, yeah, um, I noticed that this has been happening. Uh, do you want us to discuss about it? It's, it's, it's an easier way. And if this person still blocks, just, just don't discuss it further. Allow it to flow. Along the way, when he, again, he's in the right mood, bring it up in the right way. You know, I don't believe but in don't ideal be men blocking conversation. Did we say that they're not ideal? We say they're not ideal. <laughs> so, we are, <laughs> so we are helping them. We don't we have helping, ideal man. Yeah, we are helping them become ideal. <laughs> we are helping them become ideal. <laughs> we are helping them become ideal. Yes, they are not being used. Ah, that's a good one. We are helping them become not ideal. Yes, yes. Not at all that, is, that is for the woman. <laughs> because already you are in this environment, mm -hmm. you see that this is not the ideal man. Uh, this is not a game. When you come, especially to a marriage relationship, it's not so much about um, my and yours. It's about ours. Mm -hmm. So when we start looking at things from us perspective, we are able to help one another grow and to nurture one another to the kind of ideal person mm -hmm. that I would have wanted and he would have wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I would want to tell men is let us be humble enough to accept mm -hmm. that sometimes we are not enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's not be so harsh on ourselves. I know patriarchy has really worked on us. Mm -hmm. And I know society has really worked on us. But let's be genuine with ourselves. Mm -hmm. That when I stand in the presence of me and me alone, mm -hmm. I can tell myself that yes, I have failed and I can be able to reconcile. Mm -hmm. I can tell myself that yes, I am inadequate in this area and I can look for help. I may not necessarily tell Chris that I need mentorship in this area, but I can align myself in a way that puts me in a position where I can tap from his wisdom. Mm -hmm. I don't have to necessarily walk to someone and tell him, especially because men, they don't, as he said, they don't want to be accountable. And number two, they also don't, don't want to show their weakness. And they don't but, to admit they don't know. They yes, don't but we have a lot of information today. In our current age, we have a lot of information. Mm -hmm. If you find yourself you're lacking in the area of honesty, if you find yourself you're lacking in an area of maybe um, how do you how do you um, develop your emotional intelligence? How do you develop your emotional being? I mean, we have so many YouTube um, um, information mm -hmm. that people can tap into. There is so much. We are in an age of a lot of information. Mm. So I want to tell men, don't just sit there and wallow in your problems and in your shortcomings. Yes, we are not perfect. In this life, we were not created perfect. We learn along the way. Just be willing to learn. I hope they find the safe space to be able to let out as you are putting it. Luca, looking at, we already agreed, okay. ideal man, Yes, nobody died. Am I? He never existed. He's in heaven. Yeah, he yes, lives in heaven. Right. Yes, he yes, lives yes. in heaven. I thought Jesus lives in, in people who are oh, born again. Okay. Anyway, so faith is bringing up uh, uh, a new way of now doing it. Okay. With, let's now try to make our own ideal man. Okay. In the process of making this ideal man, can ideal man be rebuked and 
corrected. We already saw he does not like to account. Mm -hmm. So faith is being lenient and she's saying, present it to them nicely. Whatever you want to say, look for that time when you think he can listen and, and then say it and say like, you know, I thought we would do this instead of just, you know, ambushing them with whatever and burning them with words. Mm. But so now in the making of an ideal man, do you think he can be chastened, rebuked and corrected by a woman specifically? Why well, it's a bit difficult because when we have already agreed that he's not ideal, yes. it means he's somebody who can be violent, who can burst. Mm -hmm. But uh, say, uh, when it comes to we have now kind of a relationship, mm -hmm. we have the, the word of God guiding us. Mm -hmm. When we could now go back to the word of God, we can receive wisdom. Yes. from the word of God, mm -hmm. especially in Proverbs 6, verse 23, mm -hmm. say, my word is the light, and my law is the lamp, mm -hmm. and the rebukes, instructions mm -hmm. are the way of life. Mm -hmm. So if somebody could receive rebukes and begin to correct himself that his mind, his mind has a problem, if he acknowledge that, that means now he is on the way, in the track, or being an ideal man is now being true because it is the only word of God that can shape and guide people to become ideal because you are agreeing with God and your soul is being now connected with God. Just like a woman receives the seed of a man and a new creature grows and develops within the womb of a woman and at the end of the day a, a child is born. In the same way, once you rebuke, when you receive rebuke, and acknowledge your limitations, then that's the beginning of the journey of becoming an ideal man. Chris, yes. does an ideal man let go of his ego? You know, faith has made it so uh, simple that he starts from the family mm -hmm. unit before we speak about him outside there in the society. And so in the making of this ideal man, the first person he encounters is the woman or the wife, you know. So the woman plays a big role mm -hmm. in presenting this ideal man mm -hmm. to the society. Mm -hmm. And I've mentioned that in faith leniency to the man, mm -hmm. <laughs> because of her agenda <laughs> and also being a mother of sons yes. you know you know she is trying to be so lenient to mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and she's talking of you know the way you present and talk to them mm -hmm. nicely and Luca is saying for you to receive to have wisdom mm -hmm. then you ought to be in the position where you can be corrected mm -hmm. and be rebuked. Mm -hmm. And in my understanding of correction and rebuke, mm -hmm. faith, you know, you don't say, please don't put this mm -hmm. glass here. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know of my understanding of rebuke. <laughs> yes. 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 Let's change a few things. Mm -hmm. Let's try and change a few things. If this if this way that you've been working has mm -hmm. not been working for uh -huh. if this, this um, um, if you've been applying this formula and it has not been working, then you try change. and change the formula. I agree. That's, I agree. that's my leniency. Yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's my leniency, but I think it's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Well, uh, your question about an ideal man uh, lowering his ego. Well, you've, you've agreed, and mm -hmm. the many votes have it that mm -hmm. there is no ideal man that exists. Mm -hmm. But if you are working towards being an ideal man, mm -hmm. then you must be able to balance, you know, and uh, lower your ego at some point. Like knowing, yes, I'm a man. Like we are brought up in a patriarchal society where even our actions are based on our gender roles. Like a man is defined by what he does mm -hmm. rather than what he really is. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, you have to roll your ego at, uh, at some point. You need to also release, you know, if it is not working as faith is saying, try and do something different. Change your strategy. If it's a rebuke that is adding value to you, why not? Why don't you pick it up? If you know you are on the wrong and you are being corrected, it will only be full for you to refuse correction. I think you need to be more than willing to come on board and say, well, oh, I agree, I did that, and I'm able to, uh, I'm now going down. Doesn't, does, doesn't matter from which angle it is coming from, from your wife, from your woman, from your colleague, from whoever, even children. Even children. Mm -hmm. Just allow to the fact like they are doing it for you to become better. And this better is what you are trying to talk about, the ideal man. 
But if you stand your ground and say, you know, I'm a man, my ego says as a man I should do this, this, I should not receive correction from anyone, then you are doing the wrong things. Uh, and what also Luke has said about the word of God, that's very true. We all agree because we, we are a product and we are born. And, you know, before you were born, our soul is God. You know, we came from God, only that he used parents to bring us here on earth. We need to be connected to the word of God all times. Mm -hmm. And when you have the word of God in us, then it works naturally for us to produce who we are. The only problem is, I think, what uh, Luke had mentioned some times back, we, you know, when you want to bring yourself out who you really are, should come from within you. So if inside you there is a lot of patriarchism, if inside you there is a lot of uh, you know, those values that we don't want, naturally you'll be bringing out that what is inside of you. But if we feed our inner self with the values that are acceptable to the society, with the values that our families will love, then naturally those things will be coming out. Even if our physical body tries to go contrary to what we are, mm -hmm. the deep, our conscious, will be willing to tell us, hey, correct on that. You know, we are mm -hmm. willing to go back, as I've always been saying, make peace with everyone. Mm -hmm. So, men out there, let us lower our ego. I agree, and especially in Kenya, where our ego is lifted so high for men that even to seek for help, you know, like you think I'm a man, I don't need to, to go out and talk out about my issues, saying no, admitting, you know, to a woman, we don't want to do that. That is ego that is taking over us. But it is a high time we realize it is not working for us and we be more than willing to go now back to the drawing board and see for it to work, we need to adjust and we need to adjust for us to become better from where we are right now. In your quest to, to balance, mm -hmm. you know, and also deal with the woman on her side, mm -hmm. you really want to fix this man. What else is left uh, for the woman to do to help this man become ideal? Because it's not easy to take medicine though you know that you're sick. Somebody has to push it down your throat. And he said that rebuke and correction are the way of life from the scripture that he read, if I had him right. If that is the way of life, nobody wants to live like that. You cannot live that Monday to Friday, a wife, a woman, keeps on rebuking you. Men, not in this world, not in this society, not in this country. It doesn't happen. And if that is the way of life, how would you help the woman push this medicine that is good for the man, that is wisdom for the man, get down his throat on a daily basis and become the ideal man? Um, wow, a very good question. When uh, you're raising your children, let's, let's go back to raising children, and you want them to take medicine, and you realize that if you give them medicine as it is, um, they, they throw up. But it is not throwing up because the medicine is bad. It is throwing up because in their perception, this medicine is bad or it is testing bad. You look for another way of making sure <coughs> that the mindset has changed <coughs> for this child to accept the medicine. If you're having a child who's always throwing up when they eat, you mothers look for whatever kind of way to make sure that that child eat. They don't give up on their children. We're at a place where we are very quick to give up on our marriages, unfortunately. And as we give up on our marriages, we are also giving up on the parental role of our children. Because what we are saying is that this person can give up on their parental role, I will do it on my own. But we forget the balance that comes with the two, species, the, the two different genders in the life and in the making, the emotional making of this human being that is growing up as a child. That's it. We are women and we have so many ways. We have been, we've been uh, bequeathed with wisdom by God to do things in very different ways. Very different ways. A woman will walk into a room where men are shouting mm -hmm. and men will keep quiet <laughs> and listen to her. True or false? <laughs> Sometimes it's maybe because of the way she's dressed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just because she walked in in a big smile and everyone is looking at her. You know? um, sometimes she will walk in and maybe let out a scream and everybody wants to hear, hey, yeah, there's someone who's screaming differently. Mm -hmm. Let's listen. Mm -hmm. All these are different ways of cooling down this man. It is on the woman to find her own genetic mode of dealing with this man. It is not hard. 
women will tell me you're putting too much on us i am not it is the Easy reality and doable it is re it is the reality <laughs> on the ground if you listen to yourself as a woman and do enough soul searching you will find that there is a lot of um, power that you have even in your family they, they, they keep Before saying you just say i'm done yeah but they keep saying in, in 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 women conferences that the woman is the neck and the man is the head mm. this head requires the neck to move and to turn to angles that's the truth you agree you need you need this neck now I this neck they said in the this neck needs to be flexible <laughs> this neck needs to be flexible <laughs> Because you're out of time, so I need you to be saying your last words. Uh, yeah. All right. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is not difficult, as uh, Faith has said out there, for women actually mm -hmm. to, to change or, so, or to help men become ideal as they want. Mm -hmm. And I want just to use an analogy that uh, yesterday I heard from a lady pastor who was preaching somewhere. Mm -hmm. And she said, uh, just to, if you want to help your man or to help out, if you're a Christian, mm -hmm. you have the tools at your disposal. Mm -hmm. One of it is prayer. Mm -hmm. Pray for your man. Be that woman who can call the heavens on behalf of the man. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget your roles. If you found yourself with a man that who is not your ideal, dumping that man, you'll never get a good one. You'll get the worst. So help that man become ideal or let him grow into idealism as you want him to be. Mm -hmm. And this lady said, if he comes drunkard on ma Friday, Saturday, and Sunday he will be at home because on Monday he is going to work. Mm -hmm. Please cook for that man as a man who feeds your family, not like as a drunkard man. <laughs> but if you start seeing you are cooking for a drunkard, mm -hmm. then you are losing it. Mm -hmm. You are worsening the situation. Okay. But love that man the way he is in your house. Be good to him. One time, one day, as you pray for him, he'll come back to your side and you say, wow, this is a man. And actually, you'll realize probably most of the time they don't do that because they don't love you. They have other issues and emotions that they are eating from within them. Faith has said it. Know that medicine. Know that point where you touch your husband here and he is able to speak out and bring out his inner emotions to you. Again, please, I, I will say divorce is not the solution. Ideal men are not, uh, uh, they, they don't exist, but you can make your man to become ideal that by being a, part of that. That was a good parting shot from, from Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. As a woman, find the medium to mm -hmm. pass that medicine down mm -hmm. throat. Uh, Faith, you would say something lastly before Luca said? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that uh, for us to become, for us to have a society that is balanced and has some level of ideal man and ideal woman, we all have to put our tools to action. Mm -hmm. And putting our tools to action is by us agreeing that we are not ideal. No woman, no man is ideal. But agreeing that even in, our, in, even in our shortcomings, we can work and work together to become. The other thing that I want to underpin and so strongly is that our children are the future of this nation. How we carry ourselves around the house, how we do things in our families and in our lives, that is the making of the ideal man and ideal woman. So your, your marriage, much as you're living your marriage today, your test and your, your score will come when your son and your daughter becomes married. Mm -hmm. That's when you'll be able to get your certificate because they are being there, they, them acting, they will show exactly what you, you brought up in them. And therefore I want to implore on every parent, let us do it right in the family. Let's not do it right out there and come home and pretend that we are the best. Finally, my tribe men, we are coming up with a three million men campaign Please watch out on Thriving Families on Facebook and we are going to be reaching out to as many men as possible because for us, we believe that men, when we talk to men, when, when men are equipped, 90% of the issues we are facing in our society are sorted out. God bless you and thank you so much for having me. I agree. Excellently said. Luca. Yeah, <laughs> although we did not give you the, uh, the ideal man, mm -hmm. but we're going to leave you with the hope. Mm -hmm. For us to overcome, or rather to have an ideal man, we have to overcome our ego. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with this? Mm -hmm. For me to overcome my ego, in my training, I went for training. And in the training, I went in Tanzania for nine good years. At Tanzania, we were exposed to very harsh realities. And through the training, we could be exposed now to the real challenge in which we could reach a point of only now rely on God. 
And when we were in strain, that is when our ego could be dealt with. There are many people who are just living in this life like they are living in a tourist hotel. They are not exposed to challenges. That's why now their ego is growing stronger and stronger. But if it is crushed and then you face some hardship in life, that is the best training. Some people are now going through hardships. They don't know why. God is trying to clash their ego so that they can come now to the standard of listening to the voice of other people. God speaks to us through difficulties, challenges, and when you have the challenge and the difficult, that's the time you need to ask yourself, why am I going through this? It's because you have ego. And if this ego is crushed, now you can listen to rebukes, now you can listen to your wife, now you can look for somebody to counsel you. You can now live in the society by consulting, inquiring, and checking. So wow. that's the only hope we can have an ideal man. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> At least when that ego is, they can listen to their wives. You know, wives have the sixth sense and wives are never defeated and wives are very strong. If you find a man who can listen to the wife. Aye, that one. The one whose ego has been crushed. All husbands should go there for, for training. <laughs> Nine years. I like the place, but I still carry the place. Uh, because there is a standard. Very true. Even that standard was dropped. There is a standard somewhere. That standard was dropped. <laughs> that standard was dropped. Oh. Yes. The yes, now we are the same. We, have, uh, we the must dirty, crush the ego. The dirty pages. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Right. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much, gentlemen and yes. lady. You guys have been really amazing. Yes. I enjoyed hosting and listening to you guys. Thank yes. you so much for showing up well. Uh, thank you, viewer, also for taking your time to listen to this conversation and sending in messages. Uh, we really, really appreciate that you were there together with us and so we were able to do this. My name is Betty. I have been your host. See you next time. Thank you.